John used to keep his paranormal items that people would give him in the house, with a, which was a temporary museum. The museum was built to get the items out of my house, which I was not comfortable with them directly in the house with the kids. And I do worry about some of the things, the articles that he brings home from cases. Um, going out to the museum is a creepy experience for anyone, you know, there's a lot of um, stuff in there that has a lot attached to it. It's very interesting to have that kind of wealth of knowledge being out there. I mean, it's not the best thing to wake up in the morning and look outside my window and see it there, but... People always want to see it. When people come over, they always want to go in, they always want to see it. People bring items to the museum. We have to figure out what it is. Is it the item? Is it the person, the house it came from? Sometimes it takes time to figure out exactly what's happening with these individual items. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. People come from all over the place. Deborah here came all the way from Maine with Christy to bring me this mirror from a very famous case, known to be very haunted. So I was very excited when they arrived, and man, was I excited to finally see this mirror. Oh, Christ, that is creepy. Do you like it? That's creepier than any of the other mirrors I got in there. Did, did the family actually have any experiences with it, or are they... She just, continual um, people complaining that they are getting um, pictures of um, apparitions in this mirror. So, All right. I mean, as far as we know, yeah, there's mm -hmm. been some really creepy things mm -hmm. with this particular mirror. I mean, any evidence that we have from that house, I can pass on to you. If you're interested. Be curious to just put a little, a little thing little, up yeah. to talk about the story of it. Absolutely. That's what's important about yeah. it. But it does to me resemble like it was in a fire. Look, it was in a fire. Yeah. You could see you could see where it got scorched a little bit. It's been through a lot, I bet. Seen a seen probably a lot of negativity. That's why it's here with you. It goes in the barn behind the barn because I have to do prayers over it and holy water and stuff before I bring it in the actual barn. And about a good 15 items that were still out there that I brought back in right near those uh, white shelves. Just drop it right down and angle it back. Angle her back. Later on, I'll just come out because I got my bindings and my prayers and holy water and stuff that I do over the things and I usually do all that out here before I actually bring it in. Many people ask me why I started this museum with these things in it. My main objective was to be able to educate people on all the different types of haunted items that are out there. You know, talking about mirrors and everything like that, they do hold energy. And you know, some of it is actually believed that the energy can get trapped in between the actual glass and the filament that's put on the back of it. Can spirit be trapped in mirrors? Yes, that's been, the mirrors have been used for many, many years with conjuring and uh, putting spirit in them, and it stays there. The one that uh, just came in today I think is pretty cool, and it's super, super creepy. And um, it will be going up here with the other mirrors on display. It's not every household that has so many paranormal items in it. 
That's why I was very glad when John had the museum built to have them all stored there. I know that in the past there have been occasions where something has come home with him. Um, you know, I've seen a picture or two, but he's pretty good at not letting us know that. It's kind of like uh, my own Ripley's Museum in my backyard. Sometimes people are afraid of these things. Sometimes they break them, they'll burn them. The best thing I recommend to people is either call in paranormal investigators, clergy, someone to remove it. Because if you burn it or break it, the spirit can gravitate towards you.